Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm currently standing underneath the city of Bath in one of the Somerset and Dorset's old railway tunnels. This is a tunnel of the line that climbed out of Bath Green Park. We've been climbing up quite a gradient through the suburbs. I'll post some pictures. Well, now I'm in the tunnel. This is one of these, can't see it very well, but it's where you'd have stood to let a train go past. So what we're gonna do now is we're gonna walk through the darkness. I appreciate you can't see much because we're in a the tunnel. There is some lights, but we're gonna walk through the tunnel well we're towards one end and then we're going to come out we're going to see what we see of the old railways as again i said you're only going to see me every time i go past a light but i'll keep talking so I feel a bit like a ghost here. it's like you can hear me but you can't see me it's quite a eerie feeling in hicks you hear people jogging through the tunnel and it goes you can imagine it but it's very echoey and because they're quite out of breath they're panting and they, they actually sound a bit like a steam train so can you imagine in the days what it must have been like a 9f pounding up here with a heavy passenger train or goods train it must have been these tunnels must have been so smoky you must have hardly been able to have breathed it must have been quite an interesting and um maybe not the most pleasant of places but anyway we are now coming towards the end of the tunnel so we're going to emerge into daylight and um, see what we see it was, it was a very urban area when I came into the tunnel I took a picture of the other end oh my eyes going funny it feels so bright even though it's a dullish kind of day but there it is there's the tunnel you can just see the tunnel it's a Sastrand cycleway it says there's reduced lighting in the tunnels whether there's normally more lighting I'm not sure but we're now out and we're continuing to climb and I've just seen an interesting remain something left over from the steam age there's an old telegraph pole there yeah, I know it's quite hard to see there we are imagine the telegraph wires running in there and that light you see it's not a ghost train it's a cyclist coming out of the tunnel so we are climbing still up quite a gradient it's about one in fifty So the tunnel we just went through was Devonshire Tunnel. The next one's Chilcompton Tunnel. So I'm not sure how far it is, but there is another tunnel fairly soon. Now that one seemed long. I think the next tunnel is longer. So hence the reason I didn't make a video of me walking through the whole tunnel. Because I thought, you know, you really won't see much. But we're now climbing up the old Somerset and Dorset Railway. So this was the Bath Extension, which opened in 1874 close to passengers in 1966 and I think it's a real shame this railway closed because it really would have been a very useful line and it went through some rather delightful scenery and there's a, another telegraph pole there we can see that one a bit better though overgrown just passing over a small bridge you can see the houses of Bath and their allotments so I'm going to carry on continuing to climb you may have seen in the last video, I wasn't sure how, whether the gradient was what the steam locos or trains would have actually gone up and down. What I've come to the conclusion from the rest of what I walked on the other side of the Devonshire Tunnel back there was that it's been, they've filled in bits of the cutting to give a more, so if you're joining the path at a cutting, you don't have a, you know, a one in one drop down. So they've kind of made it go up and down so to speak so we're just coming up to a little viaduct now short viaduct so it's got a completely different feel to the sort of suburban area we were in in bath before the tunnel it feels rural now it's um really quite an attractive place I'll just show you the view from the viaduct i suppose that's one good thing about if you're on a train you don't have as much time really to appreciate the views but when we're walking we can stop as often as we like to look at the views now I suppose also when in the days when it was a railway the trees wouldn't have been here because the steam trains the fires would have kept any growth down I imagine there was probably rose bay willow herb growing all along here that's what you used to tend to get growing along by railway lines there's another telegraph pole just there can imagine the wires and the men sitting in control rooms talking to each other as they sent a train up here because of course this was single track it's um 
most of the Somerset and Dorset was double track, but this section was single track. I'm not sure the exact reason, but my guess would be the sheer expense of making it double track through, um, as you can see, what is very undulating territory. So we're now gone from an embankment, we're going into a cutting. Um, and I'm not sure how far it is to the next tunnel, but I think it's soon. I, I would like to show that to you. There are no stations here. You almost feel, I suppose, one of the reasons they couldn't put a suburban halt really out here is because if a steam train stopped, it probably wouldn't ever get going again. Be all right today with modern diesel trains. Maybe they ever did reopen it if it was like a light rail. There have been discussions of building a light rail or tram system in Bath, which would be great because I'll always be in favour of any kind of light rail or any kind of rail really. So maybe if they did, you could always have them coming up here as well. Just coming to a bridge now, it feels like we've actually come to a summit. The Beyond the bridge, the line is descending, but looming ahead through the trees, I can see what appears to be another hill, so I'm guessing we must be coming up to Chilcompton Tunnel quite soon. So, hang on under a bridge, slight echo there. It's a very pleasant walk this is. It's sometimes, as those of you who've seen before, I do gradually walk along the whole of a former railway wall. On this one, I don't know when I'll next be down in Somerset, so probably after this video, maybe a while before I do any future videos of the track bed of the Somerset and Dorset Railway, but certainly something I'd like to do. And of course, a Midsummer Norton, part of the um, track bed has reopened, it's now a heritage line, same at Shillingstone. So no doubt, I expect I'll go there at some point in the future. Just see the rock thing, see how they must have blasted this cutting out of solid rock. And coming up here is Chilcompton Tunnel. So this is the really long tunnel. It's about, I hear it's a mile long. Maybe it's not quite that long, but the other tunnel was about, Devonshire Tunnel must have been three quarters of a mile long. No, sorry, Devonshire was probably about a quarter of a mile long. And we've probably walked another quarter of a mile since coming out. So we're now going over another bridge or short viaduct. Um, can't really see what's down there, so it's just a, not really a lot. There's <laughs> flashing light of a cyclist coming out the tunnel. So, crossing the bridge, and so I've been calling it Chill Compton Tunnel. I don't know why, but on this board it tells me it's Coombe Down Tunnel. So, apologies for that. We're not entering Chill Compton Tunnel, we're entering Coombe Down Tunnel. And there's um, a lovely interpretation board showing some pictures then. And now, so can you see it? a Midland Loco coming out the tunnel and there's a standard 4MT and another Midland Loco crossing a viaduct. So I don't think that's that viaduct there. I don't, no, it can't be this one. I think that there is a viaduct further up. So um, and there's a old picture of the tunnel. I don't know if you can see that. So we're now, I'm going to go into Coombe Down Tunnel and um, leave the video there. So thank you very much for watching from Coombe Down Tunnel on the Somerset and Dorset Railway. Goodbye.